Hi guys, Mandy Kay here, and today I can't even begin, can't even begin to tell you how excited I am. If I could dance, I would give you a little dance, but for right now, maybe this will do. So let me tell you why I'm so excited. In a past video, I did a review on this Gotta Glow Perfect Pink Lipstick. It intrigued me so much that I had said in this video that I wanted to try to find the other two colors. It was the Perfect Peach and the Perfect Berry. And so I set out on a mission and guess what I found? I found them, yay! Um, I actually picked these up yesterday and I couldn't wait to get home and do a video on them today. So we are gonna take a look at each individual and see what color they are on me. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. On the back it says, just like the other one, this unique lip tint delivers a personalized shade of color enhancing the natural color of your lips. The gel-based formula glides on smoothly infused with shea butter to help moisturize and nourish. And it says apply alone or as a base to any of your favorite lip colors. Repeat, repeat application as often as desired. If you wanna go check out these lip tints, I'll have the link down in the description below. The first one I'm gonna try is the peach. So let's get it open and take a look at it. I'm so excited. This box doesn't wanna open. Okay, so here's the peach. Let's take a look at it. It's very peach, very peach. I'm kinda hoping that it doesn't go on this color. <laughs> okay, let's see. No smell like the other one. So should we see what color it is? Let's go for it. So here is the Gutta Glow Lip Tint in the Perfect Peach. Again, here is the color. And then here it is on my lips. It definitely got Buh, 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 buh. And as you can see, it definitely got darker. It's a more of a darker coral color. It's still not super dark, which I like that it's not dark. It is definitely smooth like the pink one. Uh, you can definitely feel the shea butter and it definitely feels moisturizing. It's not sticky, which I really like. I gotta say I like this one too. I was a little worried about how orange it was gonna be, but it definitely went to the more coral color, like I said, with a touch of pink into it. So I have to say this one's a winner for me as well. I don't have anything this color, so that's good. And uh, I look forward to wearing it. So now it is time for the perfect berry which I'm really nervous about. I don't know if you can see it in the packaging, but it's really dark. <laughs> so let's open it up and find out what color it turns into. With fall and winter coming, I do tend to go to the darker colors, but <laughs> I don't know about this dark. So let's find out. Let's get this open here. I don't know, these boxes just do not want to open for me today. Oh well, we'll just rip the box. All right, let's take the lid off and look at the actual lipstick here. And as you can see on the camera, it is, I would say really dark purple, almost a black color, maybe dark gray. Now this one has a little bit of a smell that the other two didn't. It's a really faint baby powder smell. I am really nervous on this one. Really nervous. But here goes nothing. You ready? And again, this is the Gotta Glow Lip Tint in the Perfect Berry. Okay, here we go.
So here is the final result. Here's the lipstick, almost black, and the color. Honestly, this is my favorite one out of all of them. The one I was scared about the most is my favorite. It really is my favorite. I love the color. It is a darker pink, but not overly dark. It still has the shine to it. It is still definitely smooth and moisturizing feeling, not sticky just like the other ones. I can say without a doubt, this will be my go-to lipstick so far of what I bought recently. This will be my go-to lipstick for the fall. I, I really, 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 really like it, which blows my mind because I was so scared with it being grayish black. I had no clue what to expect. I love these things. I love them. Okay. Elf has definitely started to win me back and I have purchased it. I have pur purchased. I have purchased a few other elf things that I'm going to be doing a first reaction video here shortly. So stay tuned for that. But as far as the lip products, elf has won me back for sure. Two thumbs up elf. I'm really liking them. So I'm going to give you a quick swatch on all three of these actually, in case you didn't see my last video with the pink, I'm going to add that on just so you can see what color they are on me. Again, they change for everybody. Everybody's color is different. So that's the fun thing about it. So let's go ahead and put on the purple and it does take a few minutes for them to change. Put the peach and then we'll go ahead and put the pink right here. Okay, so here are the swatches. This is the perfect pink, the perfect peach, and this is the perfect berry. The berry's not really changing all that much and neither is the peach. So obviously they don't change on the hand as they do on your lips. Cause this one's the perfect berry still has that purpley gray color. So I would say definitely go by the lip cause here on my hand, on my lip, totally different. All right, so comment below if you have any of these three lip tints. Um, I would love to know what you think of them and what colors they turned out on you. Like I said, I love them. Let me know if you love them or if you don't like them. So I'll be looking for the comments down below. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you're interested in checking out these products, I will have a link down below. And if you do click that link, I do get a few cents on the dollar, which helps me make more videos like this for you guys. And if you have time, go check out our merch. That link is also in the description. We're making fun new stuff all the time. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.